first of all, I wish I was born later than I was because I was thinking back when I was driving over. So when I was in high school, they had just invented Microsoft Windows and the Apple, the first Mac computer was just launched. So it actually was not as fun to be a girl in technology when I was in high school. But today, if I had the iPhone and the Android, I would make apps all day long. Um, so my background, actually, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the, you know, the heartland. I did not grow up anywhere around technology. My dad was a fireman, my mom was a teacher, but I always loved math and science, and I took a lot of that in high school. And actually, unfortunately, one of the things really rang true from the speech earlier, which was I didn't have any mentors, and so I took so many science classes, a lot of math classes, and then when it was time to go to college, I didn't know any, any girls who went on to college in engineering, and I had no role models, and I didn't go that route, and I ended up um, going into health policy. I moved to Washington, D.C., and I focused more on my creative side and my writing. But then I got that itch to move back out west and get back into technology. And so after business school, after a few jobs, I came out west and I joined this little startup. We were in a garage up in Silicon Valley. There were about nine of us. And we decided we were going to develop a mobile app for doctors to use to get information. And this was in 1999. And everybody told us we were crazy. And they said, doctors don't use technology. And you know, at that point, all there was was a Palm Pilot, which was a big clunky device, which I still have about 10 of them at home. And we said, no, we think doctors will use it because it fits a need. If it's easy to use, they will use it. And we ended up, over the course of the time I was there, getting about half of the doctors in the country to use our product, which was um, really fun and amazing. And the other thing I would say is, you know, if you really feel there's a need for the product and people are willing to pay for it, don't let other people tell you that people won't use it. I think you'll find a way to make that happen. Uh, so I left um, Hippocrates, and now I'm actually an executive in residence at InterWest Partners, which is a venture firm. And I feel like I have the most fun job because I get to spend the day meeting with entrepreneurs, looking at business plans, and deciding if we're going to invest in ideas. And one of the things. I was so impressed with is, congratulations, when I was walking around and asking you guys questions, most of you answered the questions as well as some of the 20, 30, and 40-year-olds that are coming and pitching me. 